Hello everyone, I'm Ravi Gema and welcome back to our City Skylines video. So, the goal for today's video is to make a functioning city with just one one-way road going all the way around the city. And, well, our goal is to make it exactly, well, a bit over actually 100 kilometers long. So, one unit in a game, meaning one block is 8 meters. So that means to make a 10 km we need, we need to go 1,250 units all the way across. So let's see, we should just about be able to make it here. 1,250, yeah. Let's try to line that up. So very close. Let's go to 1,12,38. So now we just need to add 12 more units. There we go, 12 units. So technically, this right here is a 10 kilometer road. So now to go to 100 kilometers, well, actually, a bit over thanks to the side roads here. We need to do this 8 more times. So, enjoy the time lapse. Okay, I'm finished with this. You probably didn't see me put in this part because my mouse died as well as that sounds. But anyway, yep. Yeah. Here we have completed slightly over 100 kilometers of road in game. So now it's time to place down some buildings. So the first thing I need is we probably need some water. So let's click on the water tab. And I guess we need some large water towers because we are a bit far from the ocean. So. We probably need a quite a few, so in the corner here I'll place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's connect these together. And now let's run this under the road so well be tuned for another time lapse. There we go, now we have water sorted. Let's let's take a look at garbage production. So we go on the garbage tower and we have this here, which is a modded item, the large recycling center. So I'm thinking about placing a few of these down over here on the edge. So somewhat far away from any residential places. One, two, three, four, five, and I believe that should be enough. It should hopefully take care of everything here. Let's see what's this. An advanced installation of plant, but it causes a lot of pollution and we really don't want that. So now I believe we should take care of electricity. So I have a mod which will allow electricity to travel without needing to be connected like this. So it should make things a lot easier in theory. So let's see what we have. Solar power plant, 25 noise pollution. I'm thinking about the geothermal one because it creates 50 noise pollution or maybe even this. 50 but the power output is 240 and what's this? This is the ocean so no not that. Because we're too far away from the ocean and we are not, it doesn't seem to be particularly practical. So we'll place down three, four, five of these guys. So five solar power plants that I hope that's enough for electricity. Now let's see. I'm gonna place down some healthcare. We have a regular hospital, so I'll place a high capacity one down. I'm thinking at the entrance, so one here, one here, every other one, every other block. Hopefully that sorts everything out, or mostly everything. I will stop that care. We have cemeteries and yeah, why not? I'll place down a few of them. 
one hand. One hand. One hand. And one over here. He will stop his crematorium, so I'll place them close to the hospital, which is ironically and very dashingly effective. There we go. I also have this modded Tantario. I don't quite remember what that is, but that is based off a real life thing. The large advance one, however, looks pretty nice, so I'll place that one next to. Well, across the road from this cemetery, we also have to take care of child care. So I placed on one hair very randomly. One hair. And one hair. We have elder care. So I'll place one hair. Hair. Also hair. Also hair. And hair. Now some, what's this? Recreational care. A sauna. A gymnasium. A community pool. And a yoga garden. And we'll place the same closer down here. So again, a sauna. Gymnasium. Great. Now we have emergency services, so... We do have the high capacity fire station. I'll place it right next to the hospital on the well, right, our right hand side. Same cyber road. There we go. That's pretty good. We have disaster services. So I guess I'll place on one of each. And I'm thinking. Well, definitely all the way out here. But maybe on the edges of one of these roads. That seems like a promising spots so this and that one I heli this is a helicopter version and I won't bother with these shelters so we'll that as is now the high capacity police headquarters on the opposite side of the hospital now great banks that should be interesting I'll place down two banks, this one on the opposite side, and this one over here. Great. That's the skyscraper bank, interesting. Now school care, we should place quite a lot of schools down, so that's an elementary, a high school. I believe we have a high capacity university somewhere. There we go, had a high capacity version, I'll place that on this road since it really doesn't have anything. And now I'll scatter some high schools around the place. Though I'm fairly certain it's not gonna be enough, but um, we'll see what will happen when I begin to zone in the residence, we'll see for certain. And I'm not going to put any public transport on since you have this wonderful, very long road to drive on. That's a dog park, an observatory, we'll place that one here. What's that, a Japanese garden? Let's place that on the edge. It takes so long to go from one end to the other. Ah, on the ocean side, well, riverside. What else is there to place the plazas? No. Yeah, why not a theme park and a chip of balloon tours and the Bitly Plaza. Pretty nice. And of course we need parking. Since there really is none on this road. One hand. Let's try to line that up. Now it's time to begin the zoning process, which will hopefully won't take too long thanks to our mod I installed. So let's get our marquee set up, and we're going from here all the way to the fourth rank. And 
I will stop at the end of that elder care center. So there you have it, some low density housing. Now some residential, some thinking, well, very center bound. And of course across the road. So, here I believe. I will try and go an equal distance and go straight to the back. We should do a bit more on this side. I'm guessing stopping at this elder care center. And of course we'll get rid of anything here. Okay, now there's nothing there. That's fantastic. Some low density. We'll place that in the back here. And a strip. A huge. About 8 wide over here. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And maybe some high density wine not over here so sort of as you enter the city you can see this now some industrial i'm gonna want to place that away from any residential so from here and we'll go straight up past these water towers and we'll stop four blocks away from yeah four blocks away from this high school i believe it is and we'll place a ship of offices going straight down this time and we'll fill in here with offices. Fantastic and let's see. I'll place a strip here from here to the amusement park offices only. That seems pretty accurate. Then another row of houses. Again a trying to get the width of the amusement park just one more left great now what should i place from here to here i'm thinking well, from here to here should definitely have some high density commercial so we'll in fact do that in front of these guys also and here let's place some low density commercial we're not gonna specialize this or anything. So from here to here. Now maybe some offices, another strip. Great, I'm coming down. Why not? Let's get some identity residential again. This time another huge chunk. Here to here. Now we still have a huge, a very huge open space. I'm thinking of doing a, another massive chunk of low density. Yep, that's great. Another huge chunk of low density commercial. A huge chunk of this. And some offices. Yeah, that's fantastic. So that's the entire right side filled out, actually. I didn't fill out there. Yeah, let's put another chunk of high density low density and we'll make the rest of this some um, low density residential great the left side i'm thinking of putting a bit more in. well actually some offices here should be a very industrial office oriented place great now perhaps some businesses who take goods from these industrial places some lower density ones a bit further away, a huge chunk. There are a lot of people who have houses close by so they can get to work. And here, let's place a chunk of low density in the center. And we'll place some offices surrounding it. Because offices tend to attract very low traffic. Great, so I have everything filled up. I believe we need to play and there should technically be guys moving in. We also have some unique buildings and a lot of modern ones actually. So you have this Brookfield Tower and Rico one, so that should be very interesting. I want something large. What's this? Yeah, this is pretty massive. So I'll put this close up to our city center, which would technically be here. And I did forget to put any sewage. My bad. Place that one here. 
There we go. Uh, there we go. Now take care of sewage. Uh, luckily, I left a tiny spot. Okay, and water sewage. I'm looking for the advanced, advanced. Eco Inland Advanced Water Treatment Plant. So there's one there. One there. I don't think that's gonna be enough though, so luckily we have this extra space here. The place down two more. Let's get some pipes connect this together. Fantastic, and hit play again. Now hopefully this should go away. We have 100 you guys out the sewage and great. Um, some water here, but that should be an issue and let's welcome our very first residents. Also I believe there's a trap right there, is there? Nope, great. It's also this very long strip of road before they can actually get to our city. So anyone who's gonna be our first newcomer. Okay, so I installed an infinity man mod, so it should be that the rest and should move in a lot faster than previously. Also, we really have a garbage problem. Let's check in on these recycling centers and they have zero guys in use and I do not know why. Is it that I have a road unconnected somewhere? A look, they can go straight down. Yes, they can. They can go left. Yup. I really don't seem to see what the problem with this garbage collector is. Oh, this would be a problem before. Bad. Anyway, let's see if our incineration plant will work. Will it? Let's. Nope, and I do not know why. What if I put it on the side? Will it work then? No, sir. Well, that's the weirdest thing I ever did see, but we'll just ignore that. I want to move everything to the mind. Destroy that. And okay, that's a garbage truck. He is coming out and he is disappearing. I don't know why. We just don't. But now we have an absolute traffic jam car, so. Maybe some traffic manager will take care of that. I definitely don't want to change it here. So you have to delete that. And you to there, you to there, and you to there. Also, please don't stop the road. So you're causing a traffic jam. Anyway, I'll leave this to run and do time lapse this and hopefully these cars will, will calm themselves up to the time. So yeah, I'll do it on that. And, well, enjoy I guess. Thank <laughs> you. 
and welcome back and let's see what we have we have a somewhat semi-functioning city we have 4600 residents and that number is going up very slowly we have no traffic jam actually that disappeared that's okay i guess but let's see on that yeah we have a lot of abandoned places so that's not great either But it's somewhat functioning. I mean, there are cars like about you can theoretically put it everywhere you need. Except for the fact that the garbage collectors aren't gonna come out. I mean, yeah, you think they're the Boston cars, especially since it's the end, the road are connected kind of back to the highway. There's nothing so to accomplish that I really don't know. We also have so many abandoned places in the uh, South. We have a lot of very tall residential buildings, which are uh, somewhat abandoned. We have fire everywhere, so I don't really know if you want to call this a success. We have 5,200 people now, and this rising very steadily, but yeah, I don't know if you want to call this a success, especially when. These guys don't want to collect the garbage. I mean, we'll probably do this again with something in the future, but I'll have to see where we went wrong. Because, yeah, 0 out of 144 people isn't particularly good. Probably have to fill a mod which makes it a bit better so you don't, don't keep leaving. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and next time I'll see you later. Bye for now.